In the case of a serious breach, the governors are reviewing a single incident. The decision is based on the civil standard of proof, often referred to as the balance of probabilities, not the criminal standard of beyond reasonable doubt. It's useful to be aware of this when you're looking at the evidence that the school are presenting. It's also worth noting that just because there hasn't been any police involvement doesn't stop the school from issuing a permanent exclusion. The school should ensure that it carries out a thorough investigation into the exclusion. This means that as well as taking statements from students and staff, they should also make sure that your son or daughter has had enough opportunity to give their point of view. The school should also take into account any mitigating circumstances, although it may be the case that the exclusion is still issued. The head teacher should be able to provide an account of his or her decision-making process and explain how the mitigating circumstances were taken into consideration. The school can only discuss your child and cannot disclose any information about sanctions that it is given to other pupils. However, you can ask if the exclusion that has been issued is in line with other exclusions that the school has given. In the notes are links to a selection of websites and organisations that can provide additional support and information about permanent exclusions.